Hello YouTube, welcome to the dojo, you're here with Samurai Man, and today we have the Transformers Generations Deluxe Size Orion Pax figure, and he looks beautiful, I love this alt mode, it's a very nice combination of kind of Earth style and Cybertronian style, very nice, kind of old school Earth style when I think about it, because it's got like these rounder bits over here, that you see on like an older style car, very nicely done, I love it, I love the blue on top of the red here, Breaks it up a little. It's not all just on the back like it usually is. We're getting a little crazy. I'm going to mix it up. I love all the headlights are painted. We've got some yellow ones up here. Yellow ones down here. Very nice. Then we have some nicely done silver paint apps for the bumper and grill. And then along the side here as well. Just to make a little more Cybertronian style. And the rims are painted. Beautiful. Some clear plastic also just to show off some cool inner workings. I do like that. Some clear plastic on top of some solid plastic. Always cool. It kind of looks like it's got, like, the engine inside or something. It's also kind of weird because, obviously, now there's no way for anyone to sit in there. But, at the same time, this is still his Cybertronian mold, so there is no need for anyone to sit in there. So, makes sense. Got a nice Autobot logo printed on the inside of that clear plastic. I do like the way they did this Autobot logo. It's got red paint and then a white logo on top of it. You see mine is kind of crooked. It's off to the side a little bit, but not a big deal. He does have this black bit up here. I'm not exactly sure why. I think it's because the head is on the underneath side. So it might be for that. But it kind of looks like it's supposed to be like reveal the shield. You rub it and there's a, a logo. But that's not the case. It's just it's just a black square. But overall, very nicely done. I, I also really like these gray bits here that kind of make it look like there's a trailer. Very nice touch do very much love that nice little touch that it's kind of got like a mini trailer there. They all can put it down into one deluxe size figure. Very cool. And he does come with some accessories. We do have here his trusty ion cannon that he always has. And this looks actually pretty cool when you peg it onto the side. There are two peg holes on each side. That doesn't look too bad. I think that looks like a cool nice little cannon coming outside. Like he just like... Like, like I could definitely... Like, I could definitely see this in the game or something. So that looks good. The axe, on the other hand, not quite as cool looking. You can, again, there is a peg hole that you can put it on. So you can peg it in. It's just not quite as good looking as that cannon. Because in the case of the axe, it does look like an axe just hanging off the side. Maybe you can kind of pull it off as, like, it's flames, maybe. Or this is a cannon. You can kind of pull that off. But it's not, it's not too bad. But again, it, it kind of just looks like an axe. Either way, still looks great with the, the cannon. I kind of like just having the can there. Just like... Choo, choo. Cool. Very nice. And then there is a good amount of molded in detail as well. This is all nicely molded in. Then this is pretty smooth for the most part. But the inner molding on the inside of this clear windshield is cool. Bumper and grill section molding, not too bad. Not, not good. It's pretty smooth for the most part. There is some underside robotness. Not too bad. You can't really tell. Or you can tell kind of from the chest, but you know, the legs are pretty well hidden. And so to transform this guy, most of his body is pretty much the legs, actually. Take these components here, kind of flip them up, split them up, and get it all out of the wheels, out of the way there. Kind of just want to untab stuff if you can. I'm trying to see. Let's see. Get this untabbed. There we go. Split it up. It'll come around the tires here. This whole panel, everything here comes out. What you want to do is fold it like that. Some more really cool molding right there. You can see nice inner workings. I do love when they do that. And then fold the panel up. We'll go ahead and hide those inner workings. Goodbye. And get the arms flipped up. Unpeg them here. There are two pegs that go into the legs. And we'll just kind of get them out of the way. Rotate this whole... Well, actually, let's get this side done. That'd be, that'd be helpful. Kind of need to get stuff out of the way first. So pull it up. There's a loud jet coming over my house. I do live by the airport, so you will hear planes periodically. But anyways, yes. Flip up the whole, I guess, cab compartment over. You can see it goes around the chest. And it's gonna, what you do is you unfold it. It's got a double hinge component there. And bring around the tires right here. They're on a hinge as well. Bring around a tire, they are on a hinge as well. Bring around both of them. 
and then kind of bring this forward and it's going to tab in right here at the front and what we'll do first is bring around the arms just to get a little more clearance there you go so now you can bring it down and it's going to tab in and it's going to tab in very securely like getting it up for vehicle mode will be a bit of a challenge as you see i'm already having trouble but there you go so make sure that's in there bring around these bits there we go double hinge again at the shoulders here you can see and then do it on both sides because it'd be weird if you didn't tab it in here at these side view mirrors you also do tab in the shoulders make sure everything's down there we go I, I, I really do love how all the tabs and joints everything do click in very securely you really don't have any issues with them t untabbing stuff like you do with some figures so that's nice orient the arms properly and then fold out the fist flip out fist we do have some flip out fists on this guy and they really are just fists they're not hands they are condensed there we go rotate the shoulders out so we're pretty much done with the top of the body we'll do a head reveal last just for fun split the legs apart they are pegged together split them apart nicely what you want to do is kind of flip out the foot and rotate it and then flip out the foot on this side and rotate there it. are some kind of like boosters molded into the bomber's feet so that's kind of cool i don't know what you'd use them for i don't recall them being used in the comics but hey you can use them rotate his waist around reveal some nice paint on the front of the crotch plate rotate the hands downward again some more paint also kind of reminiscent of optimus prime the g1 style he did have those logos on his arms i don't know what they symbolize but yeah, maybe they're just detail for the sake of detail and then this here is going to be the knee plate so just fold everything in here rotate it up and fold it in there we go pretty much done just have one very important part flip out the head and i'll form the head there you go clips in very nice so again everything is really secure nothing's coming apart unless you want it to unless you're trying to turn them back into a vehicle mode nothing's gonna flip or anything so that's here we have ryan pax in his robot mode glory you can definitely see a good amount of optimus prime in this while still feeling that young apprenticeship in him from a, a alpha trion and every time I talk, my ears pound, and it's weird. What the heck is going on? You boy, I'll have to get that looked at. It's really, oh, it's driving me nuts. What the heck? It's like, pound, explosions. Ah, the louder I talk, the words like, oh my, this is weird. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out, kind of. Ugh, I'll try to ignore it. Deal with it after the video. Oh my, okay. Anyways, accessories, bam. He's got his gun and his axe, as I showed before. And what you can do is... Put his gun in his hand, obviously. It's very stiff. There you go. Or I was just doing it wrong. But bam, classic ion blaster. Looks just like his usual ion cannon blaster thing that he always has. Optimus Prime is known for having this cannon. Just like Megatron is known for having his... What's the word I'm looking for? Fusion cannon on his arm. Optimus Prime is known for having an axe and this cannon. And this specific design where it has a nice barrel. And then this triangular chunk coming out the end that's how you know it's in a prime gun and then of course the energon axe which does look great i think this is fantastic looking so bam there it is ready to go let's fight some cons bludgeon bludgeon where are you where is he ratchet where's ratchet yes you can get some good pose out of him i'd say he's good good pose ability bing there he is. So for his articulation, you can rotate his arms upward. You can rotate him at the shoulder as well. And then you can spin him at the bicep. Nice rotation there. He's got a ratchety elbow, so that's very nicely done. And his fist can actually rotate, which is nice, because for some reason, they, they'll make a figure where they'll have flip-out fist, but then they just can't rotate him. They're, this is a good way you can flip it out and it rotates. It's not one or the other, so that's cool. His waist can rotate. It's part of transformation, so it has to. His thighs are on a ball joint, and they bend, and they rotate. Beautiful. Plenty of ankle movement due to transformation, but still, it's all there. It is on this kind of, like, ratchet joint here, sort of, for the transformation, so it can go up and down a lot. Plus a ball joint at the base of the foot and chin. So you're going to get a lot out of it, which is awesome. And lastly, his head is on a ball joint. It's kind of hard to move it because you got this big back flap there on his head, but it is movable if you can get your fingers in there. Hopefully your fingers aren't huge like mine and get it going. So yeah, lots of good articulation on this guy. 
I'm like taking it. a look at that beautiful Orion Pax face. You can definitely know this is Orion Pax due to the fact that he does not have a faceplate. Optimus Prime is known for his faceplate. Orion Pax is known for not having the faceplate. But it varies some, sometimes, you know, sometimes Optimus doesn't have a faceplate. But for the most part, he's pretty much known as the faceplate guy. They make it a strong point in this comic book that Optimus Prime is a faceplate guy. It was so heavily focused on the faceplate, even though it, it's it's kind of in a comical way, but I love it. It's very, very nicely done. But that head sculpt is just so nice. It's a nice dark gunmetal gray, not just a standard silver. So I really do think that's cool, especially with this head crest here standing out. They did it, I don't know how, but they did manage to do a good job of making it look very Optimus Prime, but Orion Pax at the same time. They did a good job of making it look like a young Optimus. I don't know how that's possible, but they did it. Eyes are nicely done in a light blue, sky blueish kind of baby blue. Very well done. He does have light piping at the back of his head. I don't know why he doesn't need it because his eyes are painted. But it's there. I mean, you know, maybe it'll help brighten up the color of his eyes by having that light piping. I'm not too sure. It's getting blocked off by this anyway, so yeah. And then he's also, again, you can see that beautiful Oddball logo with the inner mechanics of his chest. I think that looks great. You can see comparison just for a more current figure. We have the Age of Extinction 2-Pack Evolution 2-Pack Bumblebee. And they are about the same size. I'd say their chest and shoulders go about the same level. I think what makes him look a bit smaller is just his head is kind of small. So it's that's what's like making him look a little off because his head does feel really small for the rest of his body. So that could have been done a little better, but either way, you can see that it's not too bad of scale with everything else. So that's cool. Here we have Orion Pax with Optimus Prime from the Fall of Cybertron video game. You can see who he's going to grow up to be, if they even consider it growing up at all. And not bad in scale. I don't know, I think the same thing with Fall of Cybertron. I think his head is a, a tad too small for the body, and that's what's offsetting him too, because he's got a pretty big body. And his head is just like, kind of teeny. But it's all part of the transformation, so maybe they could have transformed them each differently. Maybe that would have helped. Either way, I think they look kind of nice together, even though I don't know this is not quite what they're going for in the comic books. I still think they look good together. You can say this is where the evolution is. So transform him back. We'll go ahead and fold up the fist. Flip out fist. Flip in fist. Go ahead and flip out his head. Or flip it back in. Very sturdy, so you're going to put a little pressure in there. And then you have to, again, unclip the tab here with the chest just to get it out and then rotate it this part all up because you do need to again with that double hinge get it coming out oh, come in. rotate those tires around there we go Ooh, I'm flipping everything out bring it back like this bring it back now y'all I'm just doing all these song references now I don't know what's going on it's a sing-along the video is a sing-along Bring back these shoulders on their double hinge, rotate them upward. You want to have kind of these, this weird, like, upward groove stand or facing up and have that come around. And then let's see, do I have it right? Oops, oops. Yes, bring it in, just bring them both in on those double hinges. There we go. Again, they don't tab in together here, but they do just sit well. Once you just line them up, they'll stay. So that's nice. It doesn't need a tab or anything. That's cool. And then we'll go ahead and rotate the feet around here, just to get them going. Fold them up inward. They do sit very well in there. I do like that. They fill it in this whole back section of the vehicle mode very well. So they did a great job on this all together with this vehicle mode and robot mode. Flip out these portions again. Get this grill and everything. Flip it all out. This forms most of the whole body actually. This forms the back of the legs or the back of the, the vehicle mode, and this fills out the front. So that's pretty interesting how they managed to do that. So we'll get this all lined up, bring this all back, tab them in together, get those going, and that pounding is just weird and bugging my ears. Anyways, line them up, line up this fist, get these gray bits facing outward. You want to have the peg holes facing downward and have the fist facing inward for that. Rotate this around. Oop, something's not right. Something's amiss. I'm gonna, I forgot to do the waist. Rotate the waist. There we go. Bring this upward now. So you want to do the waist. Rotate the waist. And then bring this back up. There we go. There it is. There we go. Now this you bring some around. Now you just bring this around. Kind of just line it all up with the front of the vehicle. Get the tire to come in through that groove. Obviously. I mean, you should get that going there. 
And then you push in these tabs together. There we go. Or pegs. There we go. Bring it all around. And this actually does not have any tabs other than these two parts. Do you see that tab right there? Maybe. I don't know. Can you? Right there. That's the only thing holding it together. And again, it does still hold together very well. So I think that's nice. They did a good job with how they manage that. Just make sure everything's lined up. You declare. There it is. Okay, now we've got all that done. So now pretty much we just need to line up these fists. The fists are it. Again, you want to fold them in with their... They're out like this normally. You want to kind of fold them in like that, which is cool. Use those ratchety elbow joints. Get it all lined up. And now just peg in those fists. So this is a fantastic figure. It's like, I think the first Orion pack since G1. I think in the G1 series we had a Sergeant Cup repaint as Orion packs. And now we have this. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, but I don't, as far as I remember, I don't ever remember having an Orion Pax figure. So this is awesome. This one so far is like the definitive Orion Pax figure. So if you're a fan of Orion Pax or Optimus or Transformers in general, comic books, I highly recommend this guy. He is awesome. He looks great. Both modes are fantastic. He's a very smooth transformation, very smooth joints. Awesome accessories. I love the axe and the cannon. I think they look great with the figure. I love the paint applications. They all look fantastic. The molding is really cool. Really, this figure just knocked it out of the park. Uh, obviously, the sides could be a little bigger. I think the head could be a little larger. That's the, pretty much the only complaint I have. Other than that, he is just all around great. Like, how can you not own this figure? So anyways, guys, don't forget to follow me on Tumblr at Mechation, as well as Twitter at Mechation, and Instagram at Mechas of Iron Heart. You find all my purchases, what's coming out, who's making what, all that great stuff. Hey guys, take it easy. Bye-bye.